The St. Lucia Cadet Corps is a paramilitary organization which operates through secondary schools within the island's education system, instilling survival, discipline, healthy living, and leadership qualities in its members. The parade presented a cadre of 400 out of its 660 island-wide membership. For Commandant of the St. Lucia Cadet Corps, Lieutenant Colonel Nathan Hyacinth, it's an indication that the efforts of the organization's leadership is paying off and says the Corps intends to double its current membership in the coming years. He is of the firm belief that the Corps is one of the answers in helping deal with the many social ills which continue to plague the island. What I would love to show is that the Cadet Corps sees itself also as a possible solution to some of the crime problems that we have in society. So when we say that we are keeping the kids engaged and keeping them meaningfully engaged, and our aim is to pro produce productive citizens, citizens who are able to be constant tall, who can be productive within society. Several awards and promotions were dished out at the activity which Commandant Hyacin says will help with the leadership programs of the Corps and also help with the many roles which need to be fulfilled in running the organization. The cadets paraded before Acting Governor General, His Excellency Errol Charles, government officials, well-wishers, and patron of the Cadet Corps, Her Excellency Dimpolette Louisi. I would just like to encourage you to continue to continue that enthusiasm for the St. Lucia Cadet Corps so that uh, the future of us older folk will be assured and we could, you know, live in our latter years in retirement, safe in the knowledge that we are going to be well taken care of by these body leaders. Minister for Youth and Sports, Honorable Kenson Kazimi, who attended the activity, applauded the work of the St. Lucia Cadet Corps over the years in building and shaping the lives of young St. Lucians. As the Minister of Youth Development, we remain committed to the development of the Cadet Corps and this movement, this absolute movement that St. Lucia requires. We've discussed the continued need for financing for this movement. And despite our fiscal challenges, this government remains committed to ensure that this movement continues to spread throughout the length and breadth of St. Lucia. The Corps also paid tribute to Henry Patterson, who continues to provide uniforms to cadet members, including for the Commandant's Parade. This year, the St. Lucia Cadet Corps will celebrate its 93rd anniversary since being established on the island. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Sackney, reporting.